Hi, fifth graders. Happy Monday. I hope everybody had a good weekend. Uh, this is Mrs. Farrell from Madison and Emerson. And for today's number talk, I'm actually going to present you with a real life situation that we had happen in our house this week um, when it came to some brownies. I'm sure a lot of you love brownies. Um, while we've been home doing our remote learning, we've been trying to have a fun thing to do every day. And Tuesday has been Treat Tuesday. So on Tuesday, we had four brownies, because I have four boys. Um, we had four brownies all set to go, and then my husband actually took half of one of the brownies during the day. So when it came time for the boys to enjoy their brownies at night, we only had three and a half brownies left. And of course, you guys all know, I'm sure with your own siblings, you like to have um, equal amounts of things. So my task was, how can I take three and a half brownies and split them equally among my four boys? So this is, I'm, I'm giving you the number talk today um, in word problem format actually, um, but you can still think about this uh, using some mental math here. Think about what the equation is and then how you might solve it, how you might think about it uh, mentally. And then I'm gonna share with you what I was thinking. So again, Mrs. Farrell had three and a half brownies to split equally among her four sons. What fraction of a brownie will each of her sons get? So at any point, go ahead and pause if you need some think time. And then again, I'll share with you what I did. So first of all, the first thing I was thinking is, of course, if I had had my four brownies and my four boys, that would have been a nice even split. Everybody would have gotten one whole brownie and we would have been all done. But since my husband had eaten half of one of the brownies, I was left with three and a half, which is still pretty close to four. It's not four, but it isn't too far away from four. So I was thinking, all right, if I were to estimate... I would think that my boys would get pretty close to one whole brownie each. They won't get one whole exactly, but they will get pretty close to one whole. So it's important to think about that as I start to solve so that when I come up with an answer, I can see if I think it's reasonable or not. So as I was thinking about this, I was actually picturing the brownies in my head and how could I divide each brownie up into four. So I'm gonna go ahead and share that strategy with you right here. So I'm gonna draw my four brownies. Again, this is kind of what I was thinking about in my head. And of course, it's three brownies and then a half. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I only draw a half for that last one, okay? Now, my first thought was to go ahead and break each of these up into four parts and then give each boy one part of each of those brownies. So with these holes, that was pretty easy to do because I just had to break it up into four parts. Okay, and if I gave each boy one part of each brownie, right? We're looking at one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth. Now that got a little trickier here with this half brownie because it's not, I'm not able to divide this whole up into fourths. Instead, I'm dividing half into fourths. So really what I'm doing is taking one half and dividing that into four parts, okay? So one half dividing that into four parts. Now, one thing I forgot to tell you at the beginning was, I just wanted to make sure we understood what equation we're working with here. I'm working with three and a half divided by four. That's the main equation I'm trying to solve here. So I forgot to say that before. So I really got to think about this last half brownie. What I thought I would do is picture the fact that it would be a whole brownie first. And if I had gone ahead and broken that whole brownie up into fourths, these would have been the four pieces, right? And in order to make all these pieces equal, I would just go ahead and break up these two 
uh, parts into half as well. And now I can see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces that I've broken that uh, brownie up into. So actually, each one of these pieces from my original half brownie I had drawn here are equal to one eighth. So each boy is gonna get one fourth of this whole brownie, one fourth of this whole brownie, one fourth of this whole brownie, and one eighth of this half brownie, okay? So when I add up one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth, I know that that equals three fourths. And now I have to add that to one eighth. If we remember, we can't really add our fractions unless we're dealing with a common denominator here. So I know that an equivalent fraction for 3 fourths is 6 eighths, and I'm going to now add it to the 1 eighth that I already had, and now I can see that 7 eighths is my answer. Now I feel pretty good about that answer because 7 eighths is very close to 1 whole. 8 eighths would be equal to 1 whole, so 7 eighths is just 1 eighth away from that whole. And if you remember, my original um, estimate had said that I think each boy will get close to 1 whole. So I feel pretty good about that. But just to check it, I was thinking of one other way I might go about solving this. So I thought, okay, I have 3 and a half brownies. So what if I think about how many half brownies do I have? If I went ahead and divided all my brownies up into half, how many halves is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven halves. So I know that this brownie right here could go to my first son. Put Patrick there. I know this half of the brownie could go to my second son, Jack. I know this half of the brownie could go to Kevin, and this half of the brownie could go to Aiden. So I know that each of them is definitely going to get one half of a brownie. Now I have to take these three halves and divide those equally by four. So again, as I'm looking at these halves over here, I'm thinking, how could I divide those up into four parts? I have one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Okay, so really when I divided those two halves up into um, fours each, I'm now dealing with eighths. So now again, each of these are worth eight, one eighth. And over here, I know those are also eighths as well. So now I'm dealing with 12 eighths because I have eight here and four here. So I'm dealing with 12 eighths and I have to go ahead and give um, that equally among four boys. So I know that f um, 12 divided by four is three. So I'm thinking I'm gonna give one, two, three eighths to Patrick. I'm gonna give another three eighths to Jack. I'm gonna give these two eighths and one more to Kevin. And then I have three eighths left over here to give to Aiden, okay? So really, what I'm looking at is giving each boy one half plus an additional three eighths. Again, I can't add that unless I'm dealing with a common denominator here. So I'm going to go ahead and make this four eighths plus three eighths, and that also gives me seven eighths. So I'm pretty confident that each boy is going to get seven eighths of a brownie. Thanks for listening today. If you had a different strategy, please feel free to share with someone around you. Have a great day.